All right, today we are talking about simplifying radicals. You may be thinking, I don't even know what a radical is. How am I gonna simplify it? But a radical is simply a square root. So it's just really another word for square root. We can use them interchangeably. Um, and the reason we simplify radicals is because it's a way to write your answer in exact form or give a more precise answer. Because if you put a radical or square root into your calculator, it's technically giving you a rounded decimal answer. So if we simplify it, we get a nice, precise mathematical answer. There are two steps, basically, for simplifying radicals. Write these down in your notes. The first is to make a factor tree, and the second is find pairs of numbers or variables. And you'll see what we mean when we go through an example on the next page. Write this down in your notes. All right, here's our first example that I've already worked out for you. So put this in your notes and follow along as I go through it. Let's say we wanna simplify radical 80, or the square root of 80. First, we're gonna make a factor tree of all the factors of 80. So we know we've got two times 40, 40 is two times 20, 20 is two times 10, and then 10 is two times five. So you see, basically I've gotten down to the prime factorization of 80. Probably something you haven't thought about in a little while. After I do the prime factorization, I'm gonna find pairs of the same number. So here I've got a pair of twos, I have another pair of twos, and then you notice I boxed this five because it's not a pair, it's just by itself. So I'm gonna rewrite it, this up here. The square root of 80 is equal to the square root of two times 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 the square root of five. Just like 80 itself is equal to two times two times two times two times five, okay? So, you can split square roots or radicals, multiply them, and they'll still equal the one bigger radical that you started with. So now we know the square root of two times the square root of two is two. Because if you think about it, the square root of two times the square root of two is four, and the square root of four is two. Okay, so radical two times radical two is two, radical two times radical two is two, and then we have radical five. It didn't have a pair. So it's gonna have to stay under the radical or square root symbol. Now remember this is all multiplication, so two times two is four, so we have four radical five, and that's the simplified answer to radical 80, or the square root of 80. It's a nice, precise way to write it without having to round the decimal value. Okay, here are a couple more examples. Pause the video if needed so you can write them down and then follow along as I go through them. Okay, we'll start with the square root of 128, or radical 128. Let's think of the factors. So we have two times 64. Now you may think, okay, 64 is eight times eight. Remember, there's no one perfect way to make a factor tree, but we know that eight has factors, so we wanna keep going here. So two times four, two times two. We have another two times four, and two times two. Now you know I wanna find the pairs. So let's see, I've got a pair of twos right here, a pair of twos right here, another pair of twos, and then this one two that's by itself. So what I'm gonna wind up with is radical two times radical two, which is equal to two. So for each pair, I'm gonna write one of the numbers here. Now I have another pair, so that's another two. Because if you remember from the previous example, radical two times radical two is equal to two. Now I have another pair, so that's another two. And then remember I've got this one radical two that does not have a pair. So two times two is four, times two is eight. So our simplest form is eight radical two. Pause the video if you need to and write down the second example. So let's think of our factor tree for 75. We could do three and 25 and then 25 is five times five. There are no more factors of three and five, so we're done there. X to the third, let's think about that like X times X times X, right? Because we know X times X times X is X to the third. So let's find our pairs. Here's a pair, the three by itself. Here's a pair with one leftover X by itself. So remember the boxes tell me what I'm gonna leave under the radical symbol, and the circles show me pairs that I can factor out of the radical symbol. Radical five times radical five is five. Radical x times radical x is gonna be x, and then I've got radical three x, okay? 
So 5x radical 3x is actually the simplest form of this radical 75x to the third, or the square root, because remember those words are interchangeable. Lastly, go ahead and try this problem on your own. So pause the video now and try using the steps that we've done in the video to solve this one and simplify this radical. Welcome back. Hopefully you paused the video and hopefully you got the answer of 6x squared radical 5. And if you didn't get that answer, be prepared to ask a question about it in class. Bye. Bye.